<laughs> like, this is why you can't drink alcohol when you're trying to make a fucking YouTube video because, like, the shit you say is fucked up. <laughs> fan of alcohol either it usually makes me hella sleepy and i'm working on like three hours of sleep last oh, night so if you could give 15 year old you oh God. a piece of advice oh. what would you tell don't 15? suck his dick don't do it <laughs> only get your pussy eight no more <laughs> end of it end of no it. more before it even starts no. happening yes <laughs> i can't talk about that enough like i've only started noticing sexism in sex when i turned 24 years old and like, I did a poll about this on my Instagram story. How many times have you, a, a woman, have you received head before you gave it? And like, I, I wanna say it was like 70, 30. I have not been a part of that 30%, but I think it's cause I'm pretty aggressive. So like, I wanna fucking initiate shit. Yeah. But yeah, and, and it pisses me off too. All the porn I watch is like, they kiss, she sucks his dick, she gets fucked. And it's like, hello? Mm -hmm. So if I were to tell 15 year old Jessica, I would say don't suck his dick. Yeah. A solid, solid answer. And then 15 year old Jessica would be like, but I want him to like me. And I'd be like, no, you don't, bitch. He already loves you. <laughs> you don't need male validation. No. 14, 15, you, you don't need male, male, male validation. 25, you only need their money. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What would you tell your 15 year old self? Um, nobody gives a fuck about your life. Mm. Like, you can literally do whatever the fuck you want. And it's literally just like a blip on somebody else's life. Mm -hmm. Like everyone else has their shit and they don't give a fuck about your shit. Unless they want to stalk you on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> to stalkers. <laughs> I'm so angry. Even if I get a boyfriend, I'm still not gonna give him my phone number. <laughs> I wish <laughs> that was an option. Like even Ex it communicating exclusively through Grinder <laughs> from this day forward. You've been together a year and a half. <laughs> <laughs> what is one thing to guarantee to make you laugh or smile? Myself. That's true. I was gonna say that's one of my answers because like you're fucking hilarious. Oh me? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm also pretty funny, but like you're a lot more funnier than I am. I don't think so. I but also, you all the time. guaranteed to make me smile, fucking bread. Bread? I thought you were gonna bread. say your fucking niece's name. Well, yeah, like they're pretty cute. Bread pretty funny. makes you smile. Yeah, man. I was fucking. <laughs> I was at work today, and we had like an <laughs> oven full of fucking ciabatta buns. I was so pumped, and we like when we took them out of the oven, and like we cracked one open. I was like. I almost jizzed in my pants. Would you like to be buried or cremated? Donated 100% to science. Oh, okay. 100%, uh -huh. no questions asked. In Alberta, you have to opt in to the organ donation program. I think that's everywhere. I think that is fucked. You should have to opt out. If you have some fucked up reason that you don't want to help another person, which is insane, like you're dead, what the fuck are you going to do with these organs? Yeah, like that's me, like I, I don't give a fuck what happens. Like I want to be cremated. Why? Well, actually, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. They throw you in, like, a hole with a bunch of mushrooms or some shit. Yeah. Like, that's my thing. Like, I would not want a casket. Literally. Such a waste of money? Yeah, like, that's fuck. Literally put me in a cardboard box and burn it. Or a cardboard box in the ground, plant a tree on top of me or something. But also, shit. like, there's so many people in the fucking world, and we're just lining up bodies in the ground. Like, we have these huge cemeteries, which is bodies and bodies and bodies. And it's yeah. like, at what point do we have to build houses on top of cemeteries? Like, yeah. if you were invisible, what would you do? Just, like, eavesdrop on like conversations about me mm. so i can like go talk to these people later like subtly ask some questions about what they're talking about and then like obviously they'd lie yeah and then i'd be like no bitch that's not what she said that reminded me of the fact that pretty much this goes for anyone who's ever around me ever like I, it's my mom i don't care who it is my brother i will grab their phone and type my name into the message search bar 
and find out the shit they're talking about me in their messages. And I had found some fucking things from my own friends, from my boyfriends. That's super toxic and fucked up, but I'm such a snoopy bitch. Yeah. Like, I cannot help it. If I was invisible, what would I do? Ugh, that, like, I'm more curious about you because, like, I want people to see me. <laughs> yeah. So my, my first thought was like, oh, I want to go to people's bedrooms while they're fucking. Like, I want to be- That'd a, be hot. But I want them to know I'm watching. That's like part of the thrill of it for me. Yeah, but like, my thing would be like, if they knew, would they be putting on a show? Yeah. Or would they just be like, uh, like No, I fully want them to perform like for me. Yeah. I want to be making eye contact with Actually, that's fucked up now that I say that because one of my rules when I have threesomes, they can't make intimate eye contact with the girl. Like, you're not fucking her, we're fucking her. So, like, I don't want you fucking this girl and, like, gazing into her eyes. Like, you need to be fucking her while you look at me. Is that fucked huh. up? No. That's, like, my boundary for jealousy, I guess. Yeah, for threesomes, I just, so long as everyone's having fun, like, yeah. I don't really give a fuck. But you need to have, like, rules. Have you been one of a partner or a third? I've been a third before. Okay, so I feel like like that's the difference. Oh, between... you've only been a third. Yeah. Yeah. So like they have rules, but I'm just in there just being like, hey, I'm yeah. a dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. How did we switch to that? You, if you were invisible, you'd want to watch people fucking. Yeah, but I want them, and like you said, I don't want them to perform. I want their performance. Mm -hmm. Like I love the show. This is so off topic, but with dudes I date, sometimes I will like set up the camera and film, which they're fine because we would make sex tapes all the time. Like it's not like some revenge porn type shit, but film like without them knowing in the moment. Mm -hmm. And like while we're doing it or after they'll be like, God damn, like bitch, you put in some motherfucking effort today. Like you were performing top tier. And then I'm like, that's why. <laughs> and they're like, you fucking bitch. Like <laughs> you only perform if it's for someone else to look at, <laughs> not me. <laughs> What porn do you watch? I don't know, that's a very broad. No, it's not, it's called. <laughs> for you, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> not for myself. Okay, no questions asked. No. No? Sorry. Why don't you like that? <laughs> I don't know why do you. Oh, uh, because I'm not. <laughs> I'm not fucking. Just to be clear. <laughs> Again, that's a video for another day. <laughs> <laughs> To be completely honest with you, I don't watch a whole lot of porn. Wait, so you're telling me you masturbate with your imagination? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wanna hear something hella weird? Yeah. <clears throat> Before I ever even like thought about like touching my shit down there, I would straight up like just watch porn and I'd just like go to sleep with a raging heart on and I wouldn't do anything about it. it. That's so uncomfortable. I don't know, I didn't How know any you? better. I don't know, like 15, 16. What? Yeah. What do you mean you didn't know any better? You didn't know to beat your dick at 16 years old? Like I did. I just thought it was like really dirty. I didn't think like, That's fascinating. So like my thing is like That's fascinating. For ladies, I feel like masturbating is a little bit easier. What? No, just just in the sense that like afterwards, like a man is just like, what do I do with this semen? Oh, uh, <laughs> you drink it. <laughs> he has to pee. I do get drunk, but I'm naughty. I'm a little, but not really. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like I actually fully think that like sometimes on my Instagram stories, it fucking hits these notes, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. That's not it, but sometimes I do it. <laughs> like, literally, this is fucking two hours and 53 minutes of footage that we just, like, shot for fun. And like, we can't this, do anything with it! <laughs> this is just for me and you. <laughs> this shit we're talking about is illegal, immoral, unethical. Like, this is why you can't drink alcohol <laughs> and try to make a fucking YouTube video, because, like, 
The shit you say is fucked up. You're no one is allowed to talk to you like that. Cause I fucking love you. Oh my god, Tyler, what? Wait, so you don't have a daddy fetishes and you don't want a daddy? No. But if one what if someone wants you to be their daddy? I don't know, maybe. Oh. <laughs> it's hard for me to cry. It's a lot. Have fun with this fucking edit. <laughs> <laughs> You are literally the only person that I'm completely open with. Tyler, I love you. I love you. You're my best friend. I love you. You've seen and done shit that I will never even consider doing. <laughs> you won't judge me for anything that I've done. Because, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Don't. And oh, then yeah. I'm like, <gasps> and then I. She's like, holy fuck! Motherfucker! Yeah. Me? <laughs> like, shitting on her. Same old thing. Yeah. Let's do an outro. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. This mess of a fucking YouTube video. I have no, we've been recording for four hours. I don't even know what happened. Literally 90% of this we get any posts on the internet. Yeah, this, this is, is this is four hours of recording. That's going to be a four minute video. Because it's all illegal. It's all unethical. We're dropping people's names. We're fucking talking shit on all the body, the left and right. Yeah, we can't be doing People that People are going internet. to jail. We're yeah. going to jail. Probably. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> but, you know, signing off. Thank you for watching. Love you. Love you. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. I fucking love you. This is actually an hour and nine minute edited video, but I decided to break it up in sections. This is the first piece. I'm gonna be uploading the little stories that we tell in between in their own separate videos because they deserve a whole video to themselves. Uh, thank you for watching. If you could like, subscribe, and watch another video, it would really help my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Signing off. <laughs>